everyone. Welcome to my channel. I've been doing this for a little over a year and a half and yesterday I made it to 15,000 subscribers. So woot woot. Thank you so much for your support. I am so grateful uh, for everybody who shows up and uh, watches my videos. So with that and also the donations that come in, my goodness. Uh, yeah, it really keeps everything going. It helps me with buying cards and equipment and things like that to make sure everything is good to go. And I have to have subscriptions to like StreamYard and, you know, to, to be able to do that. So everything that you guys donate, it definitely gets put back into the channel and helps with expenses. So I really appreciate that so, so much. So with that, I'm also going to do a few readings today. I'm going to do the politics on Montana. Now, if anybody watched my live, uh, somebody had asked me about doing the politics on Montana, and there was a lot more to it than what was going on, so I wanted to uh, come up here in my room and do a quiet reading, and of course, film it for you guys, and that's sometimes where I get my deepest uh, readings from, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I also have Liz Cheney. I want to see what her next moves are. He, she is on the committee to... Uh, investigate the January 6th ins in insurrection. So yeah, I want to see what's going on with that. I also want to do August 14th and 13th and 14th. That's apparently is when Trump is supposed to be back into office, but I want to see what, what those dates really mean. I'm also going to do Republicans for the next three months. So I want to see if I find any uh, patterns there as well. I also have my brand new dousing rods. Yay, look at those. If anybody doesn't know what dousing rods are, definitely Google that. But they are, uh, they're a lot like a pendulum and things like that. They were, they were used back in the day to find water um, for digging wells. But they are, also asked, they are also used for spiritual questions and things. So I'm going to definitely use, use these today. I have questions like if Trump is going to jail, is Weiselberg going to jail, Trump's kids, a Matt Gates. Uh, you know, things like that. So I have a few questions. So if you give me a few minutes, actually less than that, because it's going to be like a split second for you, I'm going to turn everything around so that you guys can watch the cards. So be right back. Thanks. This is the politics of Montana. Let's see what's going on up there. Politics of Montana. All of the people that are up there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So here's the story about all of the, the militia, militia groups, the Proud Boys, the all of that are up there. And what they're doing is training, fighting, um, critical overturn. They are energetic. They're passionate about what they're doing. Collaboration, um, new idea, the creative idea. What they're doing is um, looking for assistance. Um, seeing the big picture. They have also the page of um, feeling emotionally low. They hate our government. They don't want to be here. Temperance. They believe in God. They're bringing the Bible into the whole situation. A uh, fear of change coming out of the old ways. They have the tower coming and then they also have um, the, the hermit card, which is the five of cups, pain, loss, grief, regret, despair, emotional breakup, um, dissatisfaction. So these people are the ones that are up there. This is a reason why why all of those groups are being formed is because they are they run out of fear they have like nothing they don't want nothing to change they want the old days they want to be segregated they want to be um the only group they want to be more empowered they want to be left alone you know they 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 but they're tired of the government encroaching on their way of life now i don't think let me see what their way of life is Let's definitely check out their way of life. Mm 
let's do a spread on their way of life. All right, their way of life. Their way of life is that steady progress, change in the work, the, the craftsmanship, uh, what they do. They, they know bows, they know guns, they know uh, self-supporting, they know to be how to be off-grid, they know how to do all of that. This is their craftsmanship. Now we have here the Page of Cups, which is emotionally immature. They don't, they, they know how to do a lot of stuff, but they're not gaining any spirituality. They're not gaining any improvement in who they are and, and the enlightenment. This is where the problem lies right here is that they are not, they're emotionally immature. They're manipulative and they convince, it's like bringing up a child in a, in a closed minded family, that child does not get the the open-mindedness that it deserves the fast movement sudden change they really are um getting they're they're starting to fight this is where they want to begin to fight we also have the sun on them success they really and happiness they really think that they're going to do that they judge the rest of the world lack of foresight they really the craftsmanship but the lack of foresight meaning that they're really not as trained up as they think they are um, we also have financial setbacks. They they are not making much money, but they are fast movement. The Queen of Pentacles. So they're really trying to wait. Fast movement, progress, attention. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is down to earth and motherly. They train up. They they are very very very. Um. They, they nurture their own, is what I'm saying. Hearing, don't tell the, the the other people. They nurture their own. They train up their own. The sun, the enlightenment, and doing the groundwork. So this is what they're this is what they're doing up there. They're literally, um, it's apathy. Um, they're literally training up to do to be self sufficient. So now let's see the danger. Show me the danger. What is the danger in then in what they're doing? Because you know what? I'm all for being off grid, do this, do that, be you, right? But why do they present such a danger to the country? This card. All right. Collaboration, rite of passage. Very entitled, strengthening the community. More, n more people are joining. More numbers. That's the reason why they're a threat. Is because they're gaining the support in that ideal. Silence, fighting. They want to fight the governments. They want to win. They want to um, have everybody have their way of thinking. Victory. But the new beginnings, they literally want, I mean, they, on one hand they want to be left alone, but the other hand they want the whole world and the whole country to believe the way they do. Because they truly believe that that's the right way, the new beginning, taking, you know, that, that path, this, you got to do it our way. I wish everybody did it our way. Um... They love to fight. Betrayal, the um, strife, the arguments, the tension, the betrayal. They feel like the government has betrayed them. They feel like the government is not what they want. They feel like this this country is not where they're supposed to be. This is this is their ideal. This is their belief. That's the reason why they're such a threat. Is because not not only do they want to be left, like I said, they want us to do, to be them. If they could just have everybody, they can take over control and they can have, um, by that. But they don't have the financial backing as they want. But that's what's going on up there in their meeting and they're trying to 
come against the government. These people have been around for quite some time. It's almost like if they if they were in control, if they could just gain control over the country, uh, things would go better. So what is it that they want the United States to change to? What is it that they want the United States to change to? This is interesting. Where it's where the the um, Knight of Pentacles came out, the the adverse to change, adverse to change, lack of people skills, wishes fulfilled, satisfaction to be a hermit, to be isolated, to be left alone. They want to govern them themselves. That's why they have to change the country so that they can change the, the rules so that whenever they're doing whatever they want up there, they can never ever be prosecuted for not paying taxes, for all of the stuff that they want to criminally, like they really truly, the, yeah, defending their, their territory. They don't want to have to pay taxes on their, on their land. They don't want to have to, you know, bow to... A king is what they think, the government. They want the end of how we live. They want the end of, of, uh, Unknown caller. oh crap. Um, they want the end to what they, the country is. They want it to go back to the old ways, to change, to transform. Looking for assistance. Holding on to the pain. Fear of ruin. So get to get into their mind, into their emotions. They don't want to be told what to do whatsoever. If I want to beat my child, I don't want nobody coming for me. If I want to beat my wife, I don't want nobody coming for me. On the adverse of that, they they don't want to pay any taxes. They don't want to be a part of the machine. They don't want to. I mean, they have lit, They want to be so separate from any government oversight of who and what they do. They literally want to have their own way. So just like North Korea did the same thing with South Korea. They separated. They wanted to have their own governing, their own people. They lived up to their... And they literally think that um, probably betrayal and receipt, that that is the way it should go. The truth is a stalemate. That's what they're trying to do the most is leave us alone. Give us some land so that we can do whatever we want to do. So you can't come on to our land and tell us how to live. But they're they're criminals. <laughs> you know what I mean? They they don't want to be told how to how to live because they want to do things illegally. Like uh all right. That's why they're they're a threat and that's what they're going for and that's what they want the most. All right, let's move on. It's pretty scary, I know. All right, let's continue on. Let's do Liz Cheney. See what her, how she's going to fare in the, uh, I know that we're going into the committee to do the investigation on January 6th is her way of revenge on McCarthy. That's my feeling on that. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what else I have to say. Liz Cheney. Let's see what the cards have to say about her. Defend her territory, constant effort, upheaval and chaos, but she comes out with strength. And the moon, the illusion, she brings out the illusion. Victory, the, she brings the, the chaos, the insurrection, 
but she has victory over it, winning the significant battle. But we, she also has um, disappointment and despair because she understands the strength and how close we came to losing everything. We also have the moon. She gets into fear, but her she sent a sudden gain in, in respect and transition into uh, what's going on. So let's see what kind of cards she gets on this. She also has a card of reward. She also has the card of purpose. She also has a card of conflict, of course. And then she has the card of guidance. So once she comes out of this, uh, she is, like I said, she is, that's why she, she's going in there. She's trying to investigate it. Once she comes out of this, she's going to have that card of guidance again for her party. Because she's going to expose the conflict. She's going to expose the chaos. She's going to expose the strength behind it. She's going to be despaired about it. But she comes out really good on this other end of this. I am not for a Republican. And Liz Cheney is still a Republican. Don't ever forget that. But uh, right now, she is fighting a good battle for what she she's standing up for. We have to give her credit as a woman that she is standing up for her own convictions, which you know, as everybody else has done in the Republican Party, has bowed down, and she won't do it. So I give her that. I absolutely give her that. So good. Okay, so let's do August 13th and 14th. August 13th and 14th. See what's going to happen with those dates. I'm going to put August 13th and then the 14th to support that and see what happens. This is what uh, Lindell, the my pillar guy, my pillow guy, has said. That's when Trump is going back into <laughs> the. Oh gosh, I can't even believe I just say that out loud. Like this is a real thing. Like they're really saying it. It's unbelievable. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. They were looking for the money, the suffering, two of swords, lack of foresight. See, here's the nice thing in the delusion. I mean, that's the 13th. So we have the financial control. They want the money. They want the money. They want the money. They want the money. The suffering and the worrying. And they're, they're preying on their own kind. And then we had the lack of foresight, meaning that they have to move the goalposts again, um, balancing the 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 stalemate, the stalemate. But and they're going to throw some more delusion on the whole situation, more delusion, more illusion, more surprises, more choices, you know, all that. So that's a, like the thirteenth. The fourteenth is the hangman, the empress, the eight of swords. They're self-imposed, they're self-defeating, the three of pen pentacles, the craftsmanship of the, the next narrative, and then the strength is, un they weaken their party again. So in vain, the arrogance, losing heart, they're weakening. So this is nice uh, about the August 13th and the 14th, is their delusion is weakening their, their belief in their base. Yay! So that's good news right there for August 13th and the 14th. So... There you have it. They are going to lose a lot of um, support that day, those days, because it's not true. All right, so let's do the Republicans for the next three months. Actually, let's do the Republicans for the next four months. We have July, August, September, and October, because we know, we know that something weird is going on in in September and October. So let's see what the Republicans are going to go through in the next four months. Huh. Oh. So we have strength and balance and diplomacy for July. So whatever is going to happen, um, so this is my Knight of Cups. This is Biden. Biden's going to gain some strength, something significant in July. 
uh, is coming. So, but what the Republicans are going to experience is a lack of reward, lack of long-term vision. They are also going to experience debt. They're also going to one-sided charity and then heartbreak. Heartbreak is happening. So we have September and October. So heartbreak is happening in those two months. So whatever Biden does in July is going to set forth the the Republicans to have some seriously bad beware of deceit and betrayal. He exposes something. They also have the Seven of Cups, which is illusion, um, lack of long-term vision. So they, they realize that whatever's happening. So this is August. So they, the Republicans realize that they're, they're throwing out BS. Trump is not coming back to, to be a president and they lose tons of support right there. The end, the end of their, their ending, the transition. And then they have the tower, fear of change. So, see, there's the, the September and October death, the tower, three of swords. This is incredible. The delusion. Biden has strengthened in July because he's a king of cups. The delusion, their base loses it. The end of support. They get heartbroken, and then the tower is fear of change, so they don't know where to go. That's the reason why. But this is the next four months for the Republicans. There you have it. Can't get any more self-explanatory than that. Okay. Let's do the dousing now. So we're going to do some dousing and get some questions answered. Let me see if I can get this in there so that everybody can see. These are questions. So what I do is I hold them and with my energy and with spirit, see how it's, if, if, it, if it goes this way, I'm making a move. If it goes this way, it's no. If they cross, it's yes. So let me ask, let me ask about Matt Gates. Will Matt Gates be arrested? Well, oops, wait, 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 start over. Let me get a better grip. Better soon. Okay, okay, you guys ready? All right. Will Matt Gates be arrested? Yes. Will Matt Gates be arrested? Yes. Okay. Trying to stay as still as possible. So maybe if I rest my arms here. Okay, so the next one will be Will Trump's. <laughs> I haven't even asked the question. It's already going yes. Okay, so will Trump, will Ivanka be indicted? Will Ivanka be indicted? Yes, yes. Okay. Undo, 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 undo. Okay. Will Trump ever be arrested? Will Trump ever be arrested? Will Trump ever be arrested? Uh, no. Okay. Let's see. Will Don Jr. be indicted? Oh, God. Yes. Okay. Will Wasselberg, Wiles... Weaselberg, will he be will he be sentenced to jail? Will he be sentenced to jail? Yes. All right. A little bit. Maybe he gets a little sentence. He gets a little sentence. Okay. So is Trump's support and his base getting smaller? Is his, is his support for him getting smaller? Yes. That's a big yes. Okay. What else? What other questions do we have? Will we gain more support in the House of Representatives in 2022? Will we gain more support in the House of Representatives? Yes. Okay out. 
Will we gain more support in the Senate for 2022? Will we gain more support in the Senate? Yes. Yes, we're going to gain that. Okay. <clears throat> Will the Democrats take over the presidency again in 2024? Will we still have a Democratic president in 2024? Yes. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> I try to stay as still as possible, people. But um, if you have any questions for my dousing rods, uh, please let me know. That was very fascinating. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.